So for my uh, uh, final question uh, regarding unit tests, so right now I have not, uh, I've just used a provider, I've used a dummy provider. I'm not getting the data from an API or from anywhere else. But uh, in the future, uh, when I will implement uh, a provider which fetches the data from a URL, uh, from some URL, then should I write a unit test for that API provider? And if I do write a unit test, should I, do I need to use a mocking framework or should I just trust that my view model is uh, with whichever provider I give it, it will work. So, yeah. So the question for any kind of component, code is code, regardless if it's networking, if it's view model, it's controller, it's view. If there's logic, behavior, we want to test that. Make sure that there's a unit test in there. So in this case, you have some kind of provider interface. And at the moment, you have only a dummy provider implementing that interface for demo purposes. Right? Now, at some point, you're going to have a real provider, <laughs> like a network provider that will make a request. And this request will probably go through URL session. Let me move it over here. So network provider will implement the provider protocol and we will use URL session to make a request. You don't need to test URL session because Apple tested URL session, right? But yeah. your network provider will get back some data from URL session or an error, right? And there will be some behavior in there. What it will do with that data? You will convert it into some models, right? You can test this conversion. Make sure that if you are given a right JSON data, it will be converted to the expected models. So we avoid like mapping decoding mistakes because there might be decoding mistakes in there. Maybe you're using the wrong date decoder. Yeah. Right. Right. And you will not create the right date. Maybe you're using the wrong time zone and things like that. Maybe you can make sure that this conversion from data to rich models, Swift models will be, is, is covered. But you don't need to test your session. You need to actually make a network request and you don't need a mocking framework for that. Because you can either use URL protocol to intercept requests. Have a look, yeah. URL protocol. It's a very old class. Objective C, <laughs> but it still works. Every request the URL session makes, it goes through this URL loading system. So the URL protocol here, you have HTTP protocols, you have HTTPS, uh, FTP, and so on. So you can use, you can create a URL protocol and intercept the request and return whatever data you want. This is one way you can test without any framework. Just intercept any requests. Okay. Another thing you can do is to create a tiny like HTTP client protocol here with one method, for example, to hide your own session from your network provider. Now, when you're testing your network provider, you can use a dummy HTTP client or stub that returns predefined yeah. responses. And you create a, maybe an extension on your own session that implements this HTTP client. You don't need to test that. Uh, extension if it doesn't do anything. Okay. Right? And then you can test your network provider. So should you test it? Yes, if it has behavior, you test the behavior. If it doesn't oh. have behavior, you don't test the behavior. So this, for everyone that is watching this video, this works for any class. Yeah. Like uh, exactly. a network provider is not different than a view model or a view controller in this sense of if it has behavior, you want to test it. And you don't have to have like a mocking framework, right? There's just techniques that you can use. And these mocking frameworks, they leverage the same techniques pretty much. So yeah, if you're happy to helpers. couple your code with these uh, mocking frameworks. Absolutely, yeah. It's just one more dependency in your project and you yeah. may have issues updating to a new Swift version. You know, it will be a one more thing to maintain in your CocoaPods or SPM. Right. So yeah. if you want to avoid it, you don't need it. You don't need these mocking frameworks. If you think it's going to be helpful and you're willing to pay the price if you have issues in the future, that's fine as well. 
you can use the, the mocking frameworks, but they are not mandatory. They can be helpful as well. Right. Makes sense. Okay. Totally. So you can test the, the view model in isolation. You can test the view in isolation. Then you can test the view model. And you can test the network all in isolation on its own tests. And then you compose all of them together and run the application. Make sense? Yeah, it does. Awesome. So, uh, so generally, uh, in this uh, unit test, uh, if the network provider has some behavior, then I would test it. But ideally, in such cases, uh, all it does is it just gets a JSON converts or uh, converts it to a codable model and sends it forward to the view model. So generally, that pathway I've already tested in my uh, view model test. So would I still uh, does it? Do I still need to check whether the JSON is being converted to codable? Because uh, maybe there's no other behavior behavioral logic over there. Well, you can test. It's a very simple test to test that it's yeah. converting data to the right JSON. Maybe it's just a function that you call. It's a pure function. You pass data and it returns an array of oh. players, for example, right? Mm -hmm. It's very easy to test. The cost is very low. Why not? Right? Because the view model is not doing this conversion. It will be done somewhere in here, right? The conversion exactly. from data to yeah. the rich array of players. Your view model receives the, yeah. Yeah. So this is a different concerns. Like this is decoding, decoding logic. Maybe you want yes. some testing there. If it's a very simple decoding, it's like, you know what? I am I think the benefits is not going to be great. And I'm willing, to, if there's a bug, I'm going to own it. <laughs> That's fine. I would write this test. If you ask me, Kai, would you write this test? I would. OK. I would write this test. Now it's up to you to decide if you're going to write the test. <laughs> Right. Because it's very low cost and it's a pure function and it's easy to test. And I think it would add benefits. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Definitely. Had a quadrant the other day, cost and utility for tests. That's you know very low cost and big benefit, you know, like big utility. So yeah. absolutely. Cost benefit. Cost benefit. If low yeah. cost, benefits, write a test. <laughs> 